So I'm, I'm Paul McGovern, I am an Occupational Medicine Registrar, I'm an ST3 so I'm in the first year of a four year training programme in Occupational Medicine. At the end of that, uh, all being well, I will be a consultant in Occupational Medicine. Previous to being an Occupational Medicine Registrar, I was an Orthopaedic Registrar, so I trained uh, for several years in Newcastle and in the south of London uh, in surgery and then I changed careers into occupational medicine. I really enjoyed being in orthopaedics. It was a good job and I, I, I like being an orthopaedic registrar, but um, what I realised is as I got more senior, the variety of the job reduced. So uh, when I was very junior, I was doing lots and lots of different operations. Uh, but as I got more and more senior, I realised that I would be doing fewer and fewer as you specialise. Now that's, that's great from a surgical point of view and that's what you want your surgeons doing. Uh, but I realised that uh, I had lots of interest in other areas. I have an interest in medical education. I've been quite active in that and I spent three years as a teaching fellow at UCL Medical School uh, in between orthopaedics and occupational medicine. And really when I was uh, in my first year as a teaching fellow, I started doing some consultancy work and started speaking to people who were outside the surgical field. And I realized that I was quite interested in, uh, in, in clinical care, but also in other aspects uh, that uh, are served quite well by occupational medicine. In occupational medicine, what I've noticed is you can be really holistic, far more holistic than I would have expected given that Primarily, you're trying to keep people in work safe and well. Quite a few times as a registrar, uh, I've been the only clinician, it seems, that has had a, a, an extended period to talk to one person. Uh, and so although I don't see people on a regular basis, it may be that I only see patients once, perhaps twice through any sickness episode, the fact that you have an opportunity to genuinely build some rapport and to genuinely uh, give a patient the time that another clinician may, may simply not have time to do uh, is a really, it's a really good thing and it means that you can bring together clinical experience that you have across disciplines. Uh, I'm not using just surgical experience at all, I'm using medical training, when I did some psychiatric training as a foundation doctor that's, that's definitely uh, useful uh, and I'm really finding that the fact that I have had clinical experience is really useful in occupational medicine even though I don't have occupational medicine experience. That experience of speaking to patients, of understanding how the NHS works, of understanding how patients interface with their GPs, how GPs interface with hospitals, uh, is, is really valuable. And so the transferable skills that you have from another area of practice into occupational medicine are, are legion. There's, 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 a, there's a great deal of transferable skills. And so I wouldn't say that anyone going from a different specialty uh, should feel anxious that they don't have enough experience to do it. Uh, you, you get sufficient training on the job and actually training is very good in, in occupational medicine in my experience. Um, so you, you'll, you'll have enough training and support to uh, be able to, to see patients but you can really use your own experience to, to put your own, uh, uh, your own slant on the way that you, 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 um, you perform your duties. Mm -hmm.